Up to this point in the 8.2 module, you've looked at macroscopic understandings of concentration of solutions as well as particulate. Now we're going to look at using molarity and proportional reasoning to symbolically or mathematically represent solution concentration. We're looking at the problem, which is number 20 in your molarity pogo. That's part of the extension questions, and we're going to use this as our example. We want to calculate the molarity of a potassium chloride solution if 37.3 grams of potassium chloride are dissolved in water to give a final solution volume of 500 milliliters. Now, any time that you see molarity as the unit that you want to use, let's think about this immediately as moles of solute per one liter of solution, which means we're going to need to take our grams of potassium chloride solute and convert them into moles. And that will be our first proportion. 37.3 grams of KCl. We want to know how many moles of KCl this is going to equal. So our conversion factor, whenever we're trying to go from grams to moles, is going to be a molar mass, which will tell us the mass in one mole of potassium chloride. To get our molar mass, we're going to add up the masses of potassium and chloride from the periodic table. And that's going to be 37 or 39.10 grams plus 35.45 grams, giving us 74.55 grams KCl. Okay. Now that we have this, we're going to cross multiply and divide to solve. So I'm looking at 74.55 grams KCl times x moles equals 37.3 grams KCl times 1 mole. Okay. I'm going to divide by 74.55 to get it to the other side. So my X is going to be 37.3 grams KCl times one mole divided by 74.55 grams KCl. It's going to equal 0 0.500 moles of KCl. Now that we've got our moles of potassium chloride, you can use that to determine our molarity. Now, molarity is moles per liter, so we're going to go ahead and change our 500 milliliters into 0 0.500 liters for our volume. We can set up a second proportion to find this molarity. So the 0 0.500 moles of KCl we just calculated is going to be dissolved in 0 0.500 liters of KCl solution. Now we know every molarity is going to give us a certain number of moles per one liter of that solution. Here, again, we're going to want to cross multiply and divide. Hopefully we can see pretty easily here that once we do that, we're going to get 0.5 divided by 0.5, which is going to give us x equals 1.00 moles per liter. Okay, we can also represent moles per liter as capital M as our unit of molarity. We can use this proportional reasoning method to find molarity, to find liters of solution, or to find moles or grams of our solute.